What are you doing? I have to go. I have to leave. Y you. I have to leave you. That's my suitcase. It is? You're going to leave me with my suitcase? Joel, tomorrow's Yom Kippur. I'm... I'm not happy. Well, nobody's happy. It's Yom Kippur. I don't know how to do this. I'm not good at things like this. Things like what? Like leaving me? Yes. Oh, so don't. Practice a little. Try again when you're more confident about your moves. Midge. Joel, the rabbi's coming. Yeah, I know he is. Five years we've been trying to get the rabbi, and he's finally coming this year. We got the rabbi. I should go. No, no, wait, wait, please. I, I don't understand. I thought my life was going to be something different. I thought I was going to be something different. But the night was just so terrible. I mean, a room full of people just watching me bomb. It was one stupid night. And I'm up there dying. And I'm thinking about last week. We're in the temple, and the rabbi tells me that stupid Sodom and Gomorrah joke, and suddenly the whole synagogue goes nuts. So? He got more laughs in five minutes than I did in five months. You're jealous of the rabbi? He was in Buchenwald. Throw him a bone. Did you ever think you were supposed to be something and you suddenly realized you're not? Yes. Married. That's good. You're good. Joel, please. I'm never going to be a professional comedian, Mitch. Never. Well, no, of course not. What do you mean, of course not? What do you mean, what do I mean? What did you think all those nights in the club were? Well, I thought they were fun. I thought they were our fun couple things. You know, like how the Morgan Stearns play golf, or how the Myers ballroom dance, or how the Levens pretend to be from Warsaw once a week to get 10% off that Polish restaurant that does kobasa night. I can't believe this. I never knew you were so serious about it. Of course it was serious, Miriam. What the hell ever made you think it wasn't serious? Well, for starters, you were doing somebody else's act. I told you everybody does that when they start. If you wanted to be a comedian, you should have at least written a joke. I tried, with the Ted thing. I wrote the Ted thing. And it bombed. Oh, because you killed it. Oh, forget it. Uh, Joel, you have a job. Yet the comedy was a dream. Do you know what a dream is? A dream is what keeps you going in a job you hate. Since when do you hate your job? Do you know what I do, Midge? You're the vice president. No, um, no, no. Do you know what I do every day, day in, day out, with the actual physical machinations of my job? No. Neither do I. I take meetings, I make phone calls, I shuffle paper around, and I have no idea of what the hell I actually do. Well, maybe if you did, you'd like it more. I just thought with the brisket and the notebook, I thought you understood. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, me too. But, but you can't just leave. I love you. We have a home. We have children. They're going to notice. I have to go. No, no, no. Wait, wait. I will be better. I I'll do better. I'll, uh, I'll pay more attention. You can quit your job. We'll go to the club every single night and I'll buy more notebooks. I've been having an affair. It's been going on for months. I thought it was a phase, but now... Who? Penny... Your secretary. You're leaving me for a girl who can't figure out how to sharpen pencils. It's not about her, and it was a new sharpener. It's electric! All she has to do is push! Don't you understand? I need to start over. With her? She wins? It's not a contest. I just don't want this life. This whole Upper West Side Classic Six. Best seats in Temple. Wife? Two kids? I just don't want it. So you'll tell your parents for me? Oh, 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 that's the funniest thing that you've ever said. <laughs>